another month, another budget video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to the August budget video. And as you can tell, I am in another province. I'm currently in Loxton and I thought, why not let me do the budget video in a whole different setup because i think you all died of my living room or my bedroom but from the title you can see that i not only pay my credit card but i'm also officially a debt free it still hasn't like set in here that i officially don't owe anything and i thought that i could explain it because i know that first and foremost i said that i was struggling quite a bit and i'm not gonna lie i did but also the last two budget videos i also explained that there was something happening and i couldn't really tell you guys so this all ties in with the my credit card situation and how i got or how i was able to pay it off in the month of may my brother decided to sell a car and we always said that if she ever wants to sell it she needs to give us first preference and obviously her giving us first preference was in the middle of our debt free journey <laughs> Quentin and i went back and forth as to whether we should purchase it or not and looked at our current car situation because our car is somewhat old it is old and also they're pushing courtney more and more into like branches that are so far away often it's over the mountain often it is like now it's in the northern suburbs and we live in the south peninsula that is the current state of our car it's now to a point where we have to like constantly every single month there's something wrong with it and it's getting to a point where it's actually annoying and so my mom's car it's the same as our car but it's the sport version the mileage was also low and we looked at whether we could afford it or not we could pay half of it but that would mean that we would use our entire emergency fund and we didn't want that because you know Murphy's law imagine we had used our emergency fund and then I know something bad will happen <laughs> and then we have no backup plan we looked at our options and we went to the bank and we said okay should i get a personal loan i've never had a personal loan in my life but having become more financial literate and courtney has personal loans i understood what that whole process means in terms of how much money you would borrow how much money we're actually paying back how much interest is on there what are the hidden costs in terms of like service fees insurance i know what this is it's other smaller things as well that we don't even look into but i decided actually to be against it because the money Money that I would have taken out I would have had to pay double back and that didn't make sense so the only option that we did was to take more money out of the credit card now I don't by all means do not say get into more debt because that's what happened with Courtney and why he's currently in his debt because he taken out two loans to finance cars and all the finance books and blogs says to not take out personal loans for vehicle financing or to purchase a vehicle but the reason why we did it this was because we were going to sell our cars so we were going to get the money back now that's a big risk because I, you don't know how long your car is going to be on facebook marketplace or orx before your car gets sold we decided to take this risk i ended up increasing my credit card and i gave courtney two months in which we purchased the car and also had a car fixed in order to have it sellable the 22nd of july i then got an email from my company saying that they were going to give me the big bonus and i know so many people do not get that opportunity or have that privilege of where you work in an organization that gives you bonuses or increases or certain shifts but i'm very very fortunate to have been in this position with that bonus i could pay not only my portion of what i owed on the credit card but also a third of what we took out for the car we didn't laugh our car was only on facebook marketplace for a week after we had it resprayed we had it um we had a new windshield put in because it cracked um we also had the car service i didn't tell Kote, okay seeing that uh, my bonus could cover a third of his portion or the portion of the car we then decided to lower the the price of the car and even if we did it would still cover what we took out of the credit card we just wanted to make some sort of profit on it let me tell you the next day guys literally when i got my email from my bonus the next day our car got sold <laughs> because he reduced the price and the guy came to view the car he then paid us the money we gave him the 
paid for this and that was it so my entire credit card was paid for and yeah i don't even know how to process it because it happened so fast and actually i was only supposed to be debt free at the end of this year so it's a whole four months or say four or five months earlier which is absolutely great with that being said i'm still keeping my credit card because i still need some credit record because Gordon, i don't have property and we do want to purchase property at some point i decided to still keep my credit card but to reduce it to only have enough money for recurring expenses namely our groceries and fuel and then i've got like a 2000 rand extra on the card just in case for you know fuel increases food increases or like a really really like shitty emergency i now know how to manage a credit card i really am proud of myself that i've gotten this for for recurring expenses all of it has stayed the same our personal care was only like 250 for personal care and then the food is still but you know it's the month hasn't really gone on but food is always going up petrol had gone up by 87 cents we're having to purchase a little bit more towards fuel but Courtney does get a petrol allowance so i'm only putting half than what our usual petrol is and then out there so seeing that i'm not paying the money that i would have paid towards my credit card that money we put aside so the only thing that goes off is called history loans and i'm going to talk about going history loans and how that came about and what we all have to pay back in the next video so if that's something that you're interested in make sure to subscribe and then our policies have all stayed the same something weird is happening with old mutual and i genuinely thought because i'm still fighting with them to get them to up my retirement annuity to 20 percent and i thought that when they sent me an email to say that they or well not an email but a sme saying that the process incorrectly or a debit incorrectly Courtney then got an sms the week later saying the same thing so i don't know if it has to do with my order if they just calculated everyone's thing incorrectly in terms of the premium so i'm still ongoing with them trying to get my order to be taken off by 20 20 percent from them say so how emergency fund i put in a lot more seeing that i could now i put a little bit of ex towards access fund and then savings i want to get back into savings if you watch my last video you will know what happened with my savings i had to cash it out because i had to contribute towards my grandmother's funeral as well as we had to purchase a new fridge so i want to actually find another route or another platform where i can put my savings in because doing it in time bank actually doesn't work out that well because when you cash it out to cash out but then the category closes which means i lose a category on the which isn't great or savings goal that's what they call it a savings goal. so i'm trying to find another way or like i'm looking at like if and be the 32 day account type thing but i'm hoping from next month i can start getting up with my savings again but from now on i'm putting a lot more into my emergency fund because i do want to get it to at least three to six months worth of emergency fund and then in terms of subscriptions are all the same for extras this was the last month for schooling so next month i'm gonna have that additional money available and then we put a, a little bit more money to mr price which is called this account because we did buy like like duvet covers and stuff like that that we needed so we paid a lot more on it and then there was actually a pool of money left because hey, i didn't pay that additional money towards the credit card because my credit card was paid by my bonus and the car and there was actually a little bit of a profit towards the car so that money was also made available so with that money i did manage to put in extra money towards the emergency fund and then the second thing we did was we decided to go on holiday because it was my birthday yesterday so by the time you see this video my birthday is passed already but we decided to come to the northern cape we spent some money for a trip and then i car also had an oil leak so we had to deal with that and then we just bought a few things here and there but from next month onwards i'm very excited for that video because we're gonna start working on courtney's day and that's actually really exciting because originally the plan that i had devised was that we weren't gonna start working on his next year so a whole five months earlier is absolutely great and i'm really excited for what's to come the next chapter and get our stuff going and i thank every single person who has been on this journey with me who's still on this journey who has said congratulations because i did post it on my social media platforms and i hope that you guys have been enjoying this budget video so far we've got a few people that asked not 
only me but also Courtney like how I did it like specifically because we like I said if you've been watching my videos for a long time you will know that I had the least amount of debt between Courtney and I so we obviously worked on mine first and now that mine's done we're going to work aggressively towards his one let me know in the comment section below if you want me to to do a video where I go through the process of what I've done, what my struggles were, what kind of books I purchased, what kind of things I've read, all of those stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next budget video. Bye guys.